Before I begin this video, I'll request all of you to pay attention to the following important disclaimers. I'm not a SEBI registered advisor or analyst. This video is only for educational purpose. Stock market investment and trading entail risk. It is advisable that you should do your own due diligence and analysis before investing or trading. Discussion about any share or other forms of investment during this session is not a recommendation of any kind and I may or may not have positions in such investment or shares. Past track record is not a guarantee for future performance. Information stats, research results shared during this session are not entirely mine. Hi everyone, I'm Vineet Jaiswal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you want to acquire insights into technical analysis of stocks, you're in the right place. So far, I have been making videos on Astrology and Vastu, which I'll continue to do so. However, from today onwards, I'll be making series of videos on stocks or the stock market. The objective is to share my understanding and perspective regarding the stock market with you rather than offer you tips. Today, we'll analyze the monthly charts of two interesting stocks, Bajaj Finserv and Divis Lab. Both of these large cap stocks have consistently created wealth for their shareholders. Alright, let's start with Bajaj Finserv. On the screen you can see the monthly chart of Bajaj Finserv. If we zoom out, we'll observe the overall trend or the direction of the price. We can see that Bajaj Finserv has been on a long term uptrend with occasional price correction. Please note that price correction is usually normal and an integral part of price movement. Since its listing, it has given an average CAGR return of more than 23% per annum and this is excluding dividends. So an investment of rupees 1 lakh would have been more than 8 lakhs in 10 years. On the chart we can see since around August 2021 there has been price consolidation that is sideways movement of the price. The stock of late has been trading within a range forming a bullish ascending triangle pattern. It appears to me that this stock is being accumulated before the next major move. The horizontal pink lines of the zones are its significant support or resistance levels. Currently the price is at its resistance level which is near its all time high price. The price could either break above its resistance level, in which case it will continue the bullish trend or conversely there is a possibility of price reversal from its resistance level, in which case the bullish ascending triangle pattern would have failed. The vertical bars at the bottom of the chart are volume bars indicating how many shares were traded during the given month. For the past several months, volume has been relatively low. A surge in volume usually supports significant price movement. Overall, the monthly charts see, seem to suggest that Bajaj Finserv is preparing for its next big move. The first possible target if it moves up would be around 2760 which is nearly 54% above the current price of around 1783. However, please note that nothing is guaranteed and this should not be taken as a recommendation to buy, sell or deal. Next, let's move on to Divi's Lab, a pharmaceutical giant. Divi's Lab has been in a strong uptrend for past several years. Since its listing, it has given an average CAGR return of more than 36% per annum, again excluding dividends. So an investment of rupees 1 lakh would be nearly 22 lakhs in 10 years. However, uh, after making an all-time high in October 2021, the price corrected by nearly 50% from its all-time high price. Thereafter, price has also made a significant recovery and has formed a bullish cup pattern. We can also see that the current price is near its resistance level. If it breaks its resistance level, the first possible target would be around 7740 which is nearly 50% above the current price of around 5000 to 5100. Again this is not a guarantee or recommendation of any sort. For both the shares volume is quite crucial. 
both have been trading on a relatively lower volumes and both stocks are near their resistance level and their respective all-time high price. A breakout above the resistance level should preferably be supported by a volume spike. It should not be on a low volume. Finally, besides identifying the two patterns on the chart, namely the sending triangle or cup pattern, the key takeaways from this video are as follows. Wealth can be made even in large cap shares if one stays invested for a long term. Price movement should always be analyzed along with volume and correction is an integral part of price movement of every share. With that, I'll now end this video. I hope you found this analysis useful. Please share this video with your friends and relatives. Don't forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't. Also, let me know in the comment section below in case you have any comment or query. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.